I'm Dr. Michaels with the Reconstructive Foot and Ankle Institute, and today we're going to talk about drop foot. So um, I see patients all the time that come in and they have trouble walking and they're falling and you know they don't really know why. And um, you know we start questioning them about this. And sometimes they say, you know, it's uh, when I walk, you know, I'm, I'm walking and my foot just kind of catches. The toes of my foot catch. I really can't lift it up. And uh, you know this is just kind of beginning for them. They haven't had it their whole life, and it just kind of starts. And um, and so we test their their muscle strength, you know, by you know pushing down on their foot and say pull your foot up, and then we test their foot here. Push your foot down like you're pushing on a gas pedal, and you can tell by doing that that if they can't pull their foot up, they don't have a lot of the strength they need to lift their foot. This condition is called drop foot, where you can't lift your foot up. Um, you can push down, but you can't lift it up. And the muscles on your, uh, in your leg that lift your foot up are not as strong as the ones that pull your foot down. But sometimes, for various reasons, people lose the strength in the top of their foot, and then they can't lift their foot up. And if you're walking, and you, you, you walk, and you can't lift your foot up, then your foot will drag and catch. And I'm sure we've all caught the tip of our shoe on carpeting or a hardwood floor or something, but uh, usually it's on carpeting that we catch that tip. And that doesn't mean you have drop foot if you've done that. That's just kind of an example of what these people have to deal with every step they take. And so this is a very uh, dangerous situation, especially for our mature adult population, where if they fall and they break a hip, that could lead to a lot of lung problems. So we don't want that to happen. And, and so the drop foot is a condition that we're really focusing on right now at our institute. And it's really easy to treat, but it's caused by various things. Um, nerves come down and innervate the muscles that make your muscles work. And if those nerves are, are messed up, either in your lower back because you have lower back problems, or somewhere in your thigh or your leg, then they can affect the strength of your muscles. So nerves control your muscles, and if your nerves are damaged, then your muscles will become damaged and you can get drop foot. So if you notice yourself catching your toes a lot on the carpeting, not just every now and then, but I mean almost like every step, and it's to the point where you're almost falling, then that may be what you have, and you should definitely come by so we can help you with that condition. The simple way to treat this is by utilizing a brace that goes underneath the foot and goes up behind the foot. And there are several different types. Some are made out of carbon fiber and they go all the way up to the knee. Some are made out of plastic. Some actually have hinges in them. And the ones with hinges are better than the ones without hinges. But usually if you have this, you need both. The one without the hinge, the one made out of carbon fiber, uh, goes all the way up to the knee, and that's a static brace. And static is good. It holds your foot up so you can walk. But what's even better is if we can trick your muscles or train them into working again, uh, we can get you the ones with a hinge on each side. And those are better because they're a dynamic brace instead of static. And that kind of brace actually causes your foot to, to go up. So you can use your muscles a little bit with that. And that can, over time, train your muscles to the point where you may not even need the brace anymore. You may still need the brace for the rest of your life, but you may not. And your best chance is to use the dynamic brace with the hinges that lift your foot up. And so having both is the advantage. Um, also, you know, having the nerve problem in the first place, you know, if you can fix that, maybe you have something wrong with the lower back. Now, we don't treat lower backs, um, but if you go get that fixed, that may free up the nerve so it works, and then you get rid of the drop foot. So it's, it's, it's not just bracing the foot, it's actually looking all the way up to the spinal cord and making sure there's no lesions in that area. So we can work with you and a team of doctors to get that back and get that figured out. So drop foot is basically somewhere along the way between your spinal column and your foot, the nerves are, are messed up and the muscles aren't working as good as they should and your foot is dropping down, you're catching your toes. And the way to fix that immediately is just to get a static brace to lift your foot up. It goes inside your shoe and you can walk normally or almost normally with that brace. Uh, it's a very simple way to treat a condition that can really be a problem for people, especially if they fall and get injured. So drop foot is uh, quite easily treated without any kind of surgery or any kind of drugs or any kind of side effects.